Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. That is Deb Chanel's 48th World. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Thank you for sharing my videos and thank you for liking them as well. But as always, continue to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, we're bringing you back the castle. Yes, the castle is in an uproar. Heads have rolled and people have been, or person I should say, has been dismissed. Yes, it all comes about three social media sites were at a bar just having a good old time, talking, gossiping, parlaying, you know how they do, okay? Now, you know my castle is fictitious, okay? The whole title, the whole entourage, all of that is fictional. But it could be true. But it ain't. But it could be true. Okay? So that's about the castle and everything that derives in it. The people I talk about. The people that are on um, on agreeance with everything that I say. Okay? Remember that. Everybody was in silence. The castle was silent. Everybody was going along day day doing everything officially as they supposed to do each and every day. Okay? But we got this story coming out. Carolina Hemp Company. The social media blogs, three of them, were talking about it. Lipstick Alley, Media Takeout, and Certified Pop. Okay? Yes, they were all going about their banter, talking about one certain celebrity uh, out there. That's based in Atlanta, Real Housewives of Atlanta, alumni, self-proclaimed little queen going around now, Portia Williams. And, of course, her somewhat known baby dad is what he's really called, but she's put him back in a fiancé type of stance. Now, it's said that Portia Williams and Dennis McKinley inked a franchise deal with Carolina Hemp Company. Weed. Okay, the weed. Now, little did they know that the court jester was among them, sitting in his sandwich, drinking his beer at the pub, going about his own willy-nilly business, and he kind of got an earful of something that he felt that the court should know about, or not really the court, the castle, okay, and all of its parliament that is in <coughs> definitely in stage of making business dealings. She didn't like it because she know she was already having Miss Poetry Williams on the suspension for other little things she has done in the past. Okay, now this hemp oil thing coming up, talking about being in partnership. She thinks it's a pyramid scheme. Most of us think it is. It it is as well. Okay. But anyway, self-proclaimed queen of Real Housewives of Atlanta got the thumbs, nose up. Queen Elizabeth II is not happy. She said all heads must roll. Behead um, Portia Williams. She is not even to be thought of anymore, heard of, or even talked about. The queen said, off with her head. Totally off with her head. And, of course, Judge Judy came saying, you know, we might have did that in the 15, 16, 17, slightly 1800s, but we in the 20th century, queen, we can't do that. We can't do that. There's fines, there's jail time, and you know how that goes. She said, well, God, dog, tell Mama D and Queen Latifah, since it's over there in their area, handle it. Disenthrone her. Disenfranchise her. She has been dethroned. So, of course, and they told the court justice to go back and tell all three media websites to come and tell me about it. That's Deb Chanel's 40th world. And that's why this is on my platform. Okay? I have permission to talk about it. In my own opinion, how I see fit, and I think it's all a bull. It's all bull feces running down somebody's leg. Okay? And it got Portia Williams attached all to it. I'm like, now, Candy Williams. Candy Williams, Lord have mercy. Candy Burris tried to tell you, okay? Not only her tried to tell you, I'm sure uh, Toya Wright tried to tell you, okay, about this man's philandering ways, as well as the streets were trying to tell you about Dennis McKinley and his cheating ways, his bestiality ways, his going taking businesses from un, un, underneath somebody else's. Plateau. He's doing that as well. 
But yeah, you don't want to listen, Portia. You don't want to listen. So the queen said, forget you all day, every day. You have been dethroned. You won't really be talked about unless somebody is dragging you for filth in the street. And she will not do anything to lift a finger up to help you. And she tells it out in the public. If she finds out somebody else is helping you, she's going to shut them down as well. She thumbs up her nose. She says, totally disgusting about this weed, unless it's for medicinal purposes. And then things need to be happening. Paperwork needs to be signed. And she needs to give her full approval. And she hadn't gave her approval on this uh, weed selling type product. This franchise being brought out by Carolina. Okay? Now, I don't know nothing about it. So, Prince uh, Philip, her husband, says, stop getting yourself all up in a tizzy. Why don't we lend hands? Why don't you get a king's court going on to match your queen's court? And we can definitely handle this at the palace. Okay? Because the palace is, the castle cannot be destroyed because of all this little weed thing. Whether it's medicinal purposes being used for dedicated people with health issues or what people just want to get out there and get high on it. Okay. We can't have this. Let's enlist uh, one of our nephews. How about Prince Harry or Prince William? What do you think about that? I suggest you talk to Prince William and see what he feels. So of course she said, great idea. Great idea. He has been a, a handsome young man. He's been doing his due diligence. He's been a leader, a pillar of the world, the community at large, and everybody likes him. And he got his great looks from his uh, uh, mother. I think I'll call him. Yeah, so she gets on the phone and she calls Prince. Okay, William, and see what's up with him, how things shaking. And she's asked to come over to talk with him. He says, sure, come on over. So she gets there. She's peeping in the corner to see if he's like doing some hanky panky with his wife because she didn't want to disturb him or anything like that. But he was free. He was in a business meeting. But he said he, he just already just dismissed them five minutes prior to her coming. And he wants to know what you want to do, what you want, who you want me to shake up, who you want me to put my hands on. But you know, that's all verbally because we don't get down like that. But I got connections. What do you want, uh, Grandma? So she goes on in her sneakish, devilish way. And she tells him the whole comments and goings about what he needs her to do, how it's affecting the community, and how it has affected this one young lady who is in Atlanta, Georgia, professing herself to be a queen on some show called The Real Housewives of Atlanta. She's wearing a tiara. She's dressed in purple, the royal um attire for royal family, families, and I need you to do something about it. Are you going to do something about it while we're standing at this parade? Have you done something about it? Prince William. He said, I got it out of control, but I need to have some other people I need to enlist because, of course, you know, I'm a part of the British affairs. I can't too much get in the American type of ruling in the 52 states. So I'm going to have to lend and get my understanding because this Dennis, Dennis McKinley seems like he's going to be something. OK, so the queen said, OK, I trust you because you got your wife under control. Like I told you about her, she was uh, doing a little hanky panky, too. And I didn't like it. And I told you to handle that. And of course, you did it. We all cool now. But I'm just worried about Portia Williams and that young lady's daughter. We have to be strong women. We cannot let men come in, tear up what we built. They're supposed to add on and take it over. OK, but he, I, I don't like him. There's something with him. And I need you to get your subjects in order. Get them in order. Who do you have to definitely investigate this man who calls himself Dennis McKinley? He may be someone else. I don't know. Who are you got? Who do you have on your committee that you're finna um, deem them or deem them to be princes, kings, kings? OK, I need you to handle that. OK, so he's thinking about, you know, somebody who's in uh, very much affiliated with the boys club and stuff of this nature because he has his hands out. And, you know, he enlisted his help from his brother or uh, Harry. They said, why don't we enlist Denzel Washington? He comes. He's a, a true actor to form. He has really had many different plays, many different hats he's worn. And he definitely has been a part of the boys and girls club. I think he would be a good access asset to our community that we're building, our kings, our kings to be looked up. They need mentors. I think Denzel would be beautiful. So we got Denzel on deck. Yes, we do. We got him on deck. We tried to think about, and now we ain't going to speak his name because he proclaimed himself to be king of the South, but the rapper, 
you know, but we are, uh -uh, he does, he does too much stuff uh, amongst the public eye when it comes to his wife and we're not pleased. So we're not going to even discuss him anymore. If you know who I'm talking about, you know, this is why he didn't get chosen and every application he would probably uh, submit in for the next five or six years. We would deny. Okay. Cause we think he needs 10 years to prove himself in the community. Another outstanding community. We said Denzel, Denzel said, well, I can't go nowhere without my dog, Snoop Dogg. Okay. You know, he's been down in that wee area and he rolls a good blunt. He got the roller on his arm and he's pouring Sean Dunn and he rolled the best weed because he got it going on. Yes, Snoop Dogg, okay? He got to roll with me. So they said, okay, Snoop Dogg hasn't infringed and hadn't done too much anything. They gave him a case called murder, okay? But he had some good allies in his uh, corner and they'll come a good stop. We researched them so he'll be pretty good. Okay, then the next one, uh, Snoop Dogg said, well, no, I need to have my funny man, my funny man, my funny man. Let's get Cedric the entertainer on deck, okay? Because he could kind of keep it very lighthearted. So uh, then he said, well, we need Harry, Harry Levin. Okay, Harvey Levin. Okay, Harvey from TMZ. Y'all know who he is. We need to put him on deck because he's a lawyer. He's an attorney. He's in the entertainment business. So he can kind of help us understand what is Dennis McKinley person is coming from and what he is trying to do you know those who have eyes to see those who have ears to hear he's worth 15 million let's check him out and put him on our castle parliament as well okay so we inducted him so those are the new people we're going to be talking about uh, when we're handling male type infractions going on anybody that deems they sell king prince or whatever they're going to have to be subjected to the scrutiny of the five men we just introduced to you all. I think it was five. Uh, don't quote me or not because I'm just going off the top of my dome, okay? But y'all saw who we appointed. Those are going to be for the uh, men added on to our council, our parliament that we're building in America, okay? So anyway, let's go on back to the story because we can't carry it too long because you know we just drop the information and we move on because we can't go over 20 minutes. No, we cannot or the queen will have my head, okay? But anyway, we get it from Certified Pop. Now, we did have a breakout by Lipstick Alley. Then when your takeout came in and then surf. Certified Pop came to my daughter and said, hey, we don't told all this information to the queen. She told us to come to you. She told us to stop, uh, tell you to stop calling us in, uh, sources. We're uh, deemed informants now, okay? So those are my informants. Those three are where I got the information that I'm putting out on my platform dutifully of the queen's request, okay? So we got it. Their uh, title is ATL Housewife, ATL abbreviation acronym for Atlanta, okay? ATL Housewife Porsche invests entire Bravo salary in the weed business, okay? That's the puff, puff, pass, pass, okay? That's what I'm talking about. You know, with Cat Williams, we're looking at him too, but he did some infringements in the past. We're going to look at it dutifully, and we might get him as a consultant. But that's just hearsay right now. But anyway... Portia Williams is investing with her fiance, her boyfriend, her baby daddy, Dennis McKinley, in the weed business. Okay? The article reads, Portia Williams and her fiance, Dennis McKinley, are the proud owners of a new marijuana business. And Portia Money is financing the new venture. That is what ticked Queen Elizabeth II off. She said, no, 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 no. And y'all know how she feels because I just told y'all. All right? Keep paying attention. Going back to the argument says, and when we say portion money, we mean all of Portia's money, okay? Every little bit red cent, every coin, every green back, every dollar, okay? Media takeout news spoke with a person close to the Atlanta housewives who tell us that Dennis convinced Portia to invest her entire Bravo check in the venture. Her entire Bravo check in this adventure, all right? Portia is slated to make a proxy approximately one million from the real housewives of atlanta this season she and dennis are investing that same million into their new business the business which is called the caroline hemp company is being described as the future of hemp and cbd okay the company looked very promising but it's a fairly risky move for portia to invest all her money into one of her fiance's ventures they're not married yet. That's another thing that drove the nail in the coffin when the queen said, no, behead Portia. She's no longer a queen. Okay. Here's Dennis' post about their new company. And here's Dennis signing the business dealings 
using Porsche money. Okay, if y'all want to go over there, because my phone's kind of not working. It's not picking up the signed signatures on paper, the receipts and all of this. So y'all do y'all due diligence, y'all best investigative investigative reporting, um, due diligence, and y'all get back with me and hit me up in the comments about what y'all found. But as I feel, as the queen feels, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous to you use your money that's there for your daughter's benefit because you have a child and you're talking about having another child meaning children with this man and he has proved himself to be an opportunist okay talk to Toya right talk to the other women that he has become uh synonymous with doing bad business dealings okay uh talk, well you ain't gonna talk to his mom because his mom's gonna take up for her son all day every day long as as the days go and go and go and go okay but uh portia from uh me to you i think you're very foolish i think you need to have three or four five six seven eight lawyers looking at the contract you just signed so it, so if it's possible you can know and void it okay why is he put up 80 percent of his money you invest 20 percent why you know the whole 100 percent investment is coming from you don't you think that is a little suspect a little peculiar but like i said i can't carry too long on my storage too uh too much because i will be cut dry and my head will probably be thrown too uh beheaded or talk bad to or, or you know tap my hands and all that we can't have that okay we try to uh make this a supplemental type of income for me so we can't tear it at all all right so i brought y'all who what we and where and the subject matter okay y'all get down in them comments let me know what y'all think but right now i got to be out i got to go goodbye